you guys it's shamira aka mimi if you are new welcome to the channel if you're returning welcome back as you can see this is a black screen okay so if you guys are used to the visual used to seeing me today would not be one of those days it is wild and free wednesday and i'm going to jump straight into the topic now wild and free wednesday is one of those days that we speak about something that we should free ourselves from or well, i just want to share a wild story or my wild perspective on a topic so let's get started okay now some of you guys could be going through this some of you may not you may witness this firsthand or secondhand but let me just get to it okay so it really it makes me chuckle when i see people come to me or anyone else um in a really indirect way if you want something out of life and this is my philosophy on life if you want something out of life and sometimes, you know, you have a lot of obstacles in your way, whether people are purposely creating those obstacles or things are outside of human control, you know, you have to go out and get it and not wait for things to come to you because a lot of things that we want and we desire out of life does not come to us easily. Okay. So we definitely have to put in that work and go get it. It really makes me chuckle when I see people come at me in direct, indirect ways and um, they can sometimes come at me with flattery in hopes to gain whatever they're searching for from me instead of asking me directly. Now, I understand that some people may have a fear of being rejected or being told no, but that is part of life. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be told no. Okay. But never stop at one person. Just because one person told you no does not mean you need to be fixated on making that person say yes. It's a lot of people on this earth who are willing to give you exactly what you want as long as you ask for it directly okay come to that person respectfully and correctly and ask for it directly okay it's, it's it's not that hard it's not that difficult it's so easy okay so no more i want you guys not to if you catch yourself doing this or you guys see people around you doing this when it comes to you please let them know to come to you directly okay i don't know what it is about directiveness uh and assertiveness but i really respect people who come to me and tell me exactly what they want out of me or from me. Just a moment, you guys. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. So, like I said, some people will come to you indirectly. Maybe use flattery, okay? Uh, tell you guys what they feel like you want to hear. Just to get on your good side or just to get what they want. Um, a really roundabout way, okay? So, like I said, if you guys find yourself doing this, I want you guys to uh, stop. OK, and think about what you're really doing, because when you guys do that, you prolong a rejection. You understand what I'm saying? All you have to do is ask the person right out and flat out. OK, and let them tell you no right then and there. Don't wait months and weeks. OK, sometimes people will pretend that they love a person, that they're down for a person, um, that they're friends with a person, knowing that they aren't just to get what they want. OK, I do not respect people like that. And you guys shouldn't respect people like that either, because that's like an opportunist. Okay, people who have no conscience, okay, no morals, no values, no integrity, people who like to use other people, okay, whether it be giving them flattery or telling them what they want to hear just to get what they want, okay, state what the hell you want, let it be known. That's how I live by, and I've, I've learned this over the years. I definitely had to uh, learn how to do this because I felt like, you know, if me trying to find around about ways to get what I want, it always prolonged. Uh, the rejection always prolong the no okay and sometimes when people tell you no you have to take that no with grace okay because sometimes when you guys are told no by someone we got to reject it by someone uh, you're, you're you're being told you're being led to uh, be resourceful okay go to another source like i said as many people on this earth who will give you exactly what you want maybe even more it's all about how you guys go about it and how you guys ask okay Ask with confidence. Ask with 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 uh, a sureness about you. Okay, have that self esteem. Have that confidence. Okay, be bold. Be courageous in order to get exactly what you want. Okay, I'm telling you guys right now. Sometimes when you guys are rejected, um, if you guys are being redirected, and a lot of you guys don't want to hear that because you want what you want when you want it. But sometimes we're not ready. We're not ready to receive what we're asking for. Sometimes we have to get exactly what we need we have to receive what we need and sometimes it's going to come from a source that we don't really um expect it to come from 
okay so please remember that when it comes to you guys asking certain people for things or expecting certain things from certain people uh, once again don't go about it in a roundabout way go about it in a bold assertive in a direct way okay because i promise you guys will get exactly what you want maybe more okay and just because one person told you no does not mean you have to get stuck at that one no okay try again ask two more people they all both of them told you no okay ask five people all of them told you no keep going because it, it shows right there and there what you guys are made of and it shows you guys your strength and your determination okay uh, your tenacity to get exactly what you want okay to create something for yourself that no one can take away from you, all right? Because the more you try, the more you go out there, the harder you push to get it. When you guys finally get it, the victory is going to be so much more sweeter, okay? And I do put this on everything, believe me, on my own experience, based on my own experience, um, firsthand, okay, my own personal life, and also secondhand seeing other people uh, behave in that way, okay? It's, I don't know, it's, it's a much happier ender, ending or uh, a much sweeter ending, Okay, and, and it does make it worth your while. So all those no's, those rejections, and sometimes you guys have to understand, um, it's okay when people tell you no or reject you, because sometimes looking back, those same people, if you guys are lucky enough, okay, if, if the higher power allows it, um, some of those people will regret telling you guys no. When they see you guys shining, doing your thing, when they see how powerful you guys have become because of their rejection, some of them might definitely regret it and uh, wish they had never told you no. But it's going to be too late. And it, it is definitely an opportunity for you guys to rub it in their face. Okay? Sweet revenge, baby. And I'm not a person for, you know, seeking revenge. But sometimes that's how life goes. Okay? <laughs> so um, that's that's one of the other uh, reasons why I tell you guys to free yourself from expecting yes from every single person you ask. Maybe that person isn't equipped to help you in the long run. Maybe that person's journey is, is, is meant to veer off from yours. You guys are not meant to connect with those people or that person you're you're looking for or asking for a yes from. Okay, so so definitely change your perspective on how you go about things and um, especially the things that you want. And I'm also hearing that the things that you want uh, may not be what you need. And sometimes the things that you need is, is secretly exactly what you want. It's all about changing that perspective and, and also removing your emotions out of things and not taking things so personally. Um, like I said, not being upset and allowing yourself to take a rejection or a no with grace. Okay? Yeah. Because all those no's I'm telling you right now is, is teaching you guys how to be, once again, more resourceful and more creative, more crafty. And how you go about things in life when it goes to uh, obtaining certain things in life. Okay? So free yourself from getting stuck at one no or five no's or a few no's. Okay? Always expect that out of all those no's, you're bound to get a yes. All right? And if you guys see people around you who come at you indirectly because they don't know how to ask for what they want, uh, try to encourage them. And I also want you guys to stop getting stuck at those no's or even getting stuck at the nose to the point where you guys uh fear kicks in okay you guys start to ask your fear for permission to do something your fear is always going to discourage you and also those people around you who fear uh getting rejection uh they kind of in some way will discourage you from going for what you want directly because um they're they're scared they're they're afraid to go for things uh sometimes being direct is kind of foreign to them so they're going to project their feelings of rejection onto you and make you seem like you're doing something wrong or you being stupid or foolish for asking for something or going for something so bold. So uh, please remind yourself not to ask those people that you notice will uh, who won't go for what they want out of life. You can't really ask them for any type of advice or encouragement to do anything in life because um, some people are discontent with, with where they are. And um, like I said, they, they, they uh, stay where they are due to fear of uh, the unknown and also uh, being rejected if they actually go for something, okay? And I always say, I always tell people, and I use this myself, if it doesn't, you know, excite you and make you scared <laughs> at the same damn time, uh, then that, that ain't it, okay? That's, def that's definitely not it, okay? It ain't it. So, um, yeah, if it's making you excited and afraid to 
be bold, to be courageous and ask for something that you guys desire, um, then you're asking the wrong person, okay? You're definitely asking the wrong person because it's, it's always a 50-50 chance they're going to say no or they're going to say yes, okay? Sometimes you might get a maybe, but those maybes are still equivalent to a no because, you know, why would you even go along with someone or uh, cooperate or work with someone who's unsure? Because if, if they're unsure about you, they're unsure about a lot of things in life. They're just unbalanced. Um so stick with people, stick with asking people for what you want. Those people who uh, are not afraid to tell you no and leave it at that, no explaining, are people who tell you yes, or who actually follow through with that yes, okay? Because uh, sure people will attract sure people. And and if you're unbalanced and asking for what you want, like I said, finding roundabout ways, sometimes using flattery to get what you want. Um, you guys are just going to pro- prolong the uh, the embarrassment or the uncomfortability of the rejection, okay? So free yourself from that. No more of that, guys, okay? So uh, that is it for today. That is it for you guys' Wild and Free Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful week so far. It is hump day. We're through the first half of the week. And I really do hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. If you guys don't hear from me with a random message, uh, maybe tomorrow for Therapy Thursday or sometime this weekend, expect to see me on Monday for the pick a card, okay? I'll try to do a juicy one. (laughs) Because the ones I've been doing so far have been, um, I would say, a, a tad heavy. Something that most people are afraid to face about themselves and once again my channel is, is about actual healing and not just telling you guys some entertaining things or something to uplift you all the time and ignore the bad um, because I'm hearing that if you constantly ignore the negative things that you don't want to see about yourself you're going to constantly be stuck in a cycle of suffering okay sometimes going through things and not understanding where it's coming from and sometimes those things come from deep within places that we don't want to face or we're afraid to face okay so um yeah if you guys like this hit the like button if you feel like it didn't resonate it is what it is share with the person you know would uh, benefit from this message okay and um yeah like share subscribe comment and i definitely will see you guys next time bye Mm -hmm.